Welcome to episode two of Acquisitions Incorporated series two, where we continue the group's expedition into Dwarven Mines where something happened last time. Please recap for us. All right, All and, right. Don't, and don't mess it up because <laughs> everybody, they may, maybe they didn't see the first episode. <laughs> this is whether I get to play D&D or not. That's I right. I get a score on this, this is, yeah. and it determines it's, it's my future. It's a competition for you as well. Can I graduate from this session? We arrived in a cavern. Mm -hmm. Bobby was inside an orb of magical crystal, but not the same kind of crystal that will be later mentioned. No, prismatic sphere. Prismatic sphere, thank you. Here, see? I'll help you. Thank you. Can I, I can get an assist on this test. It's mm -hmm. not cheating. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Um, we found a sparkling liquid dripping from the ceiling, which upon drinking, we found out, turned us into a magical crystal. Crystal people. Yeah, crystal people. Um, I made friends, Evelyn made friends, with a stone giant mm -hmm. named uh, Otosh. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the notes. I got you. Uh, who was great. Yeah. We found some imprisoned dwarves inside mm -hmm lavender tinted crystals and wisely decided not to let them out of those crystals because it turned out they were super murder people. Mm -hmm. They were. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a big part of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Certainty saw an animated badger which led her to find a gnome friend mm -hmm. named... Yeah. K Karen. Carnelian. That was close. Yeah. For stone people, I don't know how you forget that. <laughs> Um, who also had a real life badger. Or, yeah, or, yeah, mm -hmm. IRL. Which is really important yeah. to me. Uh, then we found a well of light that was covered by a crystal cap, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. we found that crystal people could pass through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a. Speaking of pass through, Chris said that uh, we don't have to go to the bathroom because we're crystal people now. He right. said that was a. No yeah, so I, I hope that your adventure doesn't have a lot of crystal piss. Yeah. Because it, they can't. can't. We so, can't do it. So a really important. Rule clarification here. Yeah. You're just storing it all up. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna emerge like one of those water jets that can like put oh, steel. Yeah. <laughs> so this just is... think about how long you're in these crystal okay. forms. Whoa. And then okay. and right. then when you pop out. So to speak. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Does that mean that the dwarves who've been imprisoned in crystals for months no. are also storing up? Uh-huh. It's gonna be like a Kamehameha sort of like this took a really weird turn. Yeah, it did. It's gonna be a lot of potty. Who did in that? This season. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there was like a shark puppy thing down in the bottom of yeah. the light well, and it was clutching onto a chunk of obelisk, which is what we were looking we for. Need it. Mm -hmm. um, so Evelyn went down, and thanks to Omen finding a rock that perfectly matched the obsidian piece, mm -hmm. uh, made the old switcheroo after putting a little sleep spell on, so the, on the doggy. So classic. And so we had the thing, and celebrations were had, and then poof, we weren't there anymore. Exactly. Then so we were taken somewhere else, and I don't want to like talk out of class, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's we're probably in this diorama. Oh yeah, we're what? over here. We're in a swamp. Yeah, now, I, I mean, we're probably this is. I mean, I feel like they wouldn't have set it all up if yeah. this wasn't no. part of it. We also got a headache, and there was a weird noise, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, and we yes. stopped hearing the weird noise because we were crystal. We're crystal. Just mm -hmm. like the pooping, we don't do that anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't hear things. We don't poop. That's right. The That's what you know about us. <laughs> yeah. The noise also is just being suppressed oh. and building oh. up. Oh, it's oh. In, a, in their resonant oh. crystal frames. Oh. Uh oh. This is like when I get really sad, but I don't let it out. I just push it all down. Mm. That's what yes, it's yeah. actually, but for pee. But for pee, and mm -hmm. and poop. <laughs> All right. The amount of times we've said poop so far in this episode <laughs> is yeah. more than I think maybe in the whole series combined yeah. before. Perfect. Okay. There is indeed a poof. Oh. As. <laughs> that's a poof. Okay, yeah, I heard it. I yeah. heard it. I heard it. As you appear somewhere else in this underground network of caverns, tunnels, and whatnot, and the thing that immediately strikes you as you appear here is there's vegetation all around you and a mugginess. It's warm here, and because of all the moisture trapped inside this cavern, you feel like you're you're in a really warm day in the bayou. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Like it's a full-on swamp, mm. but but but, old, there's a, a but overhead there's like a stone ceiling. High up, 
illuminated by fungi, crystals that protrude out of the walls and the ceiling, you can see stalactites up above, as well as very, very far up. There is an opening that goes into an area where there is this purplish light that flickers very softly. It's the Hylian Depths. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they have their own sort of amethyst sun that shines down on this alien underground bog. And in this bog, you can hear frogs. Yes. You can hear crickets. Hmm. But the thing that immediately strikes you as you listen to wildlife that you've heard before up on the surface, that it's all in set patterns. Mm. Mm. The crickets go chirp, 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 chirp. So three, three, mm -hmm. huh. two, one, then back to three, three, two, one. There is a strange regularity about it. You can also see that there is a dark pool of liquid over here. You appear here with Bobby's prismatic sphere appearing <laughs> on top of uh, this stone. This is outcrop. And far across from you, you can see a crystal that slowly changes color, as well as a strange plant across on the other side of the body of water that you can see it quivering Ugh. slightly. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. Mm -mm. But all of that immediately pops out of your mind when you realize you're standing next to this giant flower. Cool. It's a really cool mini. With, <laughs> yeah. with with these tendrils protruding up out of it and illuminated from inside. And from deep within that flower, you can hear a voice and it says, What? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> She's down a clown. Yeah. Well, What's up, plants? You, you always say good morning if someone says good morning. It's just manners. But even if it's a, even if it's a plant? Yeah. Yeah. Don't be rude. Yeah, you're right. What brings you to our lovely bog today? We don't know. This is a full service bog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What's true. your name? I am known simply as Lily. <gasps> no, you know, Lily, sounds, I'm okay. Evelyn Marthane. Introduce yourself. I say, I mean, do I, I'll just reach down for one of the fronds, I guess, <laughs> and just give it, a, give it a good firm shake. And I say, uh, good morrow, Lily. I'm uh, Omandron, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. A pleasure to meet you. What is a CEO? It's a very important type of person. Um, maybe the most type. Maybe the most important type of person. It's like a producer, right? You make <laughs> you make shows. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the things. But that's just one of the many right. things I can do. It's obviously, Lily. If there's anything that you need in an adventuring context. In a production capacity, um, you got a great. Obviously, you got a great environment here. I can see a lot of different projects sort of really popping off in here. You have a very firm handshake. Is that part of being a CEO? Some say it's the most important part. Mm. Yeah, and it comes up. You see that one of those illuminated tendrils now bends downward and just taps your firm handshake. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, that's like the only thing I'm actually good at. Saving throw. Okay. Oh, you get, you get. I think, unless my low level now doesn't give you an aura, I think you get an extra from me. That's what I need. That's what I need the most. And don't forget our 4 and our 19. Why am I telling you this? You've been thinking about 4s and 19s. It's funny that you think I've forgotten. You've been thinking about 4s and 19s the you whole my, time. I'm not giving you my 19, I'm well, giving you my 4. Uh, yeah, well... Not in this case. Nope, I'm just a baby level three. I have it's no fine. Aura. I'm gonna roll this dice. It's gonna come up with a big, big number, no. and big no. then I'm gonna yeah. add a four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, I mean, it's not the biggest number. An eight plus four, so twelve. So, Omen. Yeah. 
you, as this tendril touches you, this quiver goes up your arm, and, and it's and it's a mix of sort of that the type of goosebumps you get when you're feeling exhilarated, right? And you feel like the best way to express that exhilaration is to push that big ball into the water. Absolutely. This is a, this is this is a this is a celebration of balls. Basically, <laughs> as soon as, as soon as I uh, as soon as it touches, like there's no difference between it touching and then the idea, right? It's just like absolutely say, "Here you go, buddy." And I'm just going to reach over and just push it right off the top. <laughs> right the off water? the right off the top. It'll uh, float. It's a bubble. The, yeah, right? exactly. It's going to be fine. Say, all right, pal. Bobby's <laughs> crystalline sphere, and the rest of you just see Omen yeah. stride over, just yeah. suddenly push the sphere, and it rolls easily into this muck, and Bob's there for a moment, and then you see these viney tendrils <gasps> burst up through this murky water, and pull the whole thing down ah. out of ah. sight. No! Why, why did you do that? <laughs> <sighs> All right, what's next? All right, you're done with that. I, what's next? Okay, I'm... I think there's a lot of other stuff I can push into this I'm water. I'm gonna grab oh. a frog and cast Speak With Animals. <laughs> Toad? Yeah. Listen! And I'm, because I'm seeing him acting weird. I'm certain he fucking ran. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really fucking smart. You're and I'm hold it. seeing that they're all kind of in thrum, and I'm seeing him acting weird. So I'm gonna grab the frog and be like, "Hey, hey. tell me what you know. <laughs> Listen up, frog. What's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> why are why are you all croaking and buzzing and chirping in sync? Three, three. Two, one. Yeah. Three. Oh. Three, oh. two, one. Okay, that's actually oh. kind of scary and weird. I, hmm. I just put him back in. I just. <laughs> uh, three, three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. It's like, it's like finally somebody gets. It. <laughs> <laughs> I've had nobody to talk to you this see, whole time. Oh, you three, three, two, one, right? Me going from going burr, burr, to like. <laughs> Throwing it on the ground and being Splat. like, three, three, two, one. I couldn't agree more, daughter. And what the? <laughs> it sounds right and it feels right. Who else wants to get rolled into this pit? Because <laughs> uh, I'm ready. I'll do. I'll do any of. I think we should make sure that Bobby wants to go swimming. Well, I think it's probably too late to ask Bobby, but. <laughs> um, Certainly, this is an offer I'm willing to ex do it, uh, extend to anyone here. Uh, I'll put you yeah. right in that fucking pit, and and I'll love doing it. Hey, Lily. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where would did... you like to shake my hand too? No, I would prefer I would prefer not to. I say, who's next? Just between us girls. Where <laughs> Where does that pond go? Deep, deep beneath the roots. Oh. oh. If anything stays down long enough, uh -huh. it will go far, far down into the gullet <laughs> and then be broken down. Oh. And then ground up. Oh, okay. And then slurried into chalices. Oh. In chal and then drunk. Yeah. And then digested. See, no, by no, by no. whom? Well, by I was just gonna say, by no. mushroom people? Yeah. Now, Bobby always told me that he wanted to become a chalice. It was a private conversation. You wouldn't have heard about it. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that everybody mm -hmm. understands that everything that I have done... Mm -hmm. Did you know about that when you pushed him in there? Not 100%. Okay. Yeah. Not 100%. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I did feel confident that it was the right thing to do at the time. So real quick, just the motivation for this scene, are we trying to get Bobby back? What are we trying to do here? <sighs> We're trying to get into the... We're trying to get right into that pond. Okay. 
Um, I don't mean to 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 interrupt, but yeah. I do feel a sense of urgency for I think to get into the pond. I yes. am motivated to get Bobby back, and I remember that you could you could grab stuff like catapult. I can. Stuff. I can fling things. Maybe you could fling him back out, so we could just double check with him. Yeah, I mean, if I can sense Bobby's sphere down there, I, I, I guess normally I'd have to be able to see the thing to fling it. Yeah. And so you from. From where I'm gonna you go are, to the edge yeah. of the goo. <laughs> Not too close, but oh, <laughs> oh. Well, well, I'm trying to see if he's down there, mm. and, I, and I don't think there's anything dangerous, mm-hmm. really. I, I, well, no, you don't think. You think that this is all set up ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna be like, hey, I don't. Is he down there? Can I see him? So you can see the very top of the sphere. Oh, and it is being slowly pulled down. But then you also see at the same time something coming up. Okay, great. Oh. Right at your feet. Okay. And it that thing bursts up out of the murk. Oh god. Right oh. in front of you. And its tendrils start shooting straight out at you. I need you all to roll initiative. Oh. Whoa! First initiative of the series. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, well. Good. 19, 18 plus one. Right, I have a nine minus one, uh, so that is an eight, I think, historically. 18 for Jim. That's All really right. Good. 16 on a dice. And certainty. 14. Okay, so, I mean, that is that like a shambling mound? I need you also, Omen, to make another wisdom saving throw. Absolutely, here it comes. Oh. Uh, that's a one, uh, uh, but plus four, but the one is an automatic failure, so there's no reason for us <laughs> to do any learned. math. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll just take this dice time. put it over here. So, uh, I and want this dice to sort of understand what it's done. Omen, Street to town. you hear within your mind, so mm-hmm. no one else hears this. No. We're going to have so much more fun, Omen Drawn. Mm-hmm. We are. We are, and look, I'm ready to, I'm ready to make that fun happen. You just let me know what I need to do. I'm, I'm dedicated to this now. I'm, I'm all in. Evelyn, what mm-hmm. do you do? Bobby was just the first. And Jim, you can see still just beyond this big. Mound of shambling vines. Yes. Such a classic monster choice. The oh. you can see still the very top okay. of <clears throat> of Bobby's sphere, and its descent appears to have stopped. And in fact, it's starting to float slowly back up towards oh, the surface. Okay. It is a Great. bubble, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. it's light. Yeah. Then this solves my quandary, so I will absolutely just go with a battle axe after <laughs> this vine monster. Um, Be some subterranean gardening. Yeah, just a little pruning. Um, and I'll say to Jim, could you could you deal with the orb while I deal with this? Of course. Great, I roll a 25 to hit. You Jeez. hit soundly. Um, and that's gonna be, oh, my sad little dice. <laughs> uh, a t- D8 plus four, I guess. Uh, 12 okay. damage. Okay, yeah, why not just roll maximum damage? And then Elix. my second attack with the battle axe. Oh, it was a seven plus six, so 13. To hit? Yeah. yeah. That is not no. gonna hit. He shambles too much. Boo. But right? the first hit is solid and when you hit, there is this muddy squelching oh, noise yeah. and as you as you hack into it with your axe, you open up into the inside, and there is that smell of like moldy leaves yeah, after exactly after it's been it raining too long. I knew exactly mm-hmm. what smell it was. Gross. Mm-hmm. 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 Ew. All right. Next up, Jim. All right. So I would like to cast Mage Hand. Um, I know generally I can only carry 10 pounds, but he's bobbing in this liquid, right? Can I move him with it? Is it enough to push or to try to pull him towards the shore? Inside the, the liquid, it might be a win. I don't know. That's yeah. what I'm hoping for. In water, you're not as... That's, I mean, that's what I We're think. We're talking about displacement. Right. You can try it. Science. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you, Arcana? 
Uh, yeah, please give me、uh, an intelligence arcana check as、okay. as you attempt to manipulate your mage hand to move the crystal around in the water. Okay, plus five. Nine plus five. Fourteen. Fourteen, from what I hear. Yes. So <laughs> that is enough that、uh, you were able to both both with the power of your your wizard mind and、yes. also using the water to your advantage, you're able to nudge、uh, the crystal. What direction would you like to move it in? Uh, so this thing's right in front of us, <clears throat> right?、Uh, can I try to push him over towards the shore over here, maybe? Absolutely. How far can your mage hand move things?、Uh, oh, mage hand! I gotta go back to that then. And the and the movement will be halved given the the, the size of. Yeah, of you can、this. move it thirty feet each time.、So. Oh, fifteen! This is great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's almost you, perfect. So you move it. It's still in the water. Sure. Okay. Right there. You could like tuck it behind that tree.、So、exactly. Yeah. Do we still see Bobby in it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just <make> sure. <laughs> just <laughs> if we pull that up and it's empty, I just want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> Certainty. Okay. Um. Seeing that、uh, Jim's got a got a hold on on Bobby. Um. I am going to. Using my bonus action,、uh, give my dad bardic inspiration. God, that would help. Is it because is it because I keep failing rolls? Is that yeah, is, yeah? Is that part of it? Or? He is the one that pushed Bobby into the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the next time I push Bobby back in, it's going to be at a plus what? Six. You get a D six. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going、yeah. to try、Incredible. to bardically <laughs> inspire you、uh, by to be being a like, father. Yeah, where I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> Instead of fathering that plant, could you maybe father, you know, your other kids? Anyways, and that's my D six to you. And then for my action,、um, I'm gonna cast. Let's see. I don't want to hit our party, so I'm not gonna do burning hands. Instead, I will do firebolt. Oh, that'd be good. Plants hate that. And where would you like to one、move? trick plants hate? Um, I'm gonna move. Yeah. Like here, I think. Where、Just gonna... reach in between them. Yeah, reach in between them <laughs> and aim. And as you are casting your spell,、uh-huh. you know sometimes you'll just get distracted by something. Like you'll、yeah. realize there's a noise that's been probably going on for the last fifteen minutes, and I'm only now realizing it. Yeah. You realize that frog is still saying three, three, two, one. I like that. Stop it, frog. That's what I would say. <laughs> Shut that frog up. <laughs> You shut the fucking frog up. What is what? <laughs> three, three, two. Not now, frog. <laughs> I'm gonna try to shake it <laughs> off and cast no, fireball. Just, <laughs> Firebolt, not fireball. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm too distracted. That's that's a two on the die for a total of seven.、Uh, it's that frog. He's got to shut the frog. Yeah, he does, dude. Yeah, he's up in your mind. Jim, this bolt of fire、oh. whizzes right by your head and even singes your hair a little bit, but otherwise misses you. Oh, that was a real fire spell! And as you say that, I'm just turning around like, "Shut the fuck up, frog!" Are we using real spells here? Sound, sound, take three, three, two, one. Yes, we're using real spells. I'm the special effect coordinator. I'm allowed to use real spells. That makes sense. Okay, <laughs> that tracks though. I'm the safety. I, he had me sign I'm, a waiver. I'm the、sense. armorer. <laughs> At this, this shambling mound launches out its、Bonus. dripping、yeah. Ooh. tendrils. Ooh.、Uh, one of them comes toward you, Evelyn, and that is only an eleven to hit. Nope. And so then、uh, another one comes slamming down at you. Uh, and that is only a nine to hit. Too slow. Not today. Yeah, exactly. So it's just splat. I'm、yeah. like a little bee. Bzz, bzz, yeah, exactly.、Bzz. And it, each place where it hits the ground near you, not only is there this <laughs> sound as this、yeah. goopy, muddy, rotting leaves hit, but seconds after the hit. You see that the ground underneath begins to sizzle. Uh oh. Oh. We don't like a sizzle. What? Hmm. Omen. Now、yeah. that it is your turn. Yeah. You hear in your mind. Time for fun. Bro, bro. <laughs> and you 
Am I just like, along for the ride? You dash. It just moves me. Or, oh no. Oh no. You dash right over toward <sighs> this and swan dive into its mouth. And now I need you save. to make a constitution saving throw as you dive into <laughs> whatever that is. That. Yeah, so like, so, but I have bardic inspiration, it sounds yes. like. So we're going to roll a d20, then we're going to add one. Uh oh. Oh my god. That is a one. So it's so a It doesn't one. matter what you add. It doesn't, we can add numbers all day. Infinite numbers. You should just dive head first to this thing and no, just get slow. At a breakneck speed, I run from this plant, I'm jumping over stumps. <laughs> I, exactly, I'm CrossFit. I'm coming right I'm, through, and then I just jump in like woohoo, and then you just wow. <laughs> you, know, you just see the feet go in. I yeah. almost was going to replace that die, except I was busy realizing I had one more spell I could prepare. So that was important to me. All right. Well, um, you I mean, did I, say that that thing was quivering. Yeah. Before. Yeah. It, yeah. With anticipation of a mm, meal, I mm-hmm, suspect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And and that that. Anticipation is now fulfilled as the rest of you <laughs> see Omen hurl so, himself into that thing. It clamps shut. Mm-hmm. Omen, as it comes clamping shut because you failed the saving throw. I know. You take <laughs> seven bludgeoning damage, mm. and then you take eight acid damage. Mm. And, and you feel yourself being pulled. Oh down into the ground mm. beneath it. And right now, all the rest of you can see is one of his feet <laughs> sticking oh, out no. of the side. Oh, no. Well, that would have killed me, so I'm not going in the plant. Yeah. And and the foot is just twitching. <laughs> <laughs> like occasionally, <laughs> when, you, when you think it's stopped, it gives it another it's twitch. twitch like it's still, still active, still doing great. Still alive, thriving, burning though, being crushed, currently being digested, but not yet, not yet, not yet, not quite, not uh, yet. Hmm. So Either things are going well. It's my turn. It is your turn. Uh, well, I guess better go get Omen. Is there a a vine I could snatch on my way over? Yes. Cool. I'm gonna grab a vine and I'm gonna be like, "Be right back, Jim. Sorry." <laughs> <laughs> run over and I'm gonna try to tie a vine around Omen's foot. So as you run away, understandably focused on fly away uh, on on Omen's foot uh, well-being, the shambling mound oh, oh, uh, right. attack of opportunity. opportunity. So one of these. Yes. But I foresee this moment, mm. and as time distorts, I see two realities: one in which it wallops Evelyn, and the other one in which it doesn't. And I choose the other path. That's a four. <gasps> I love it. I love oh, it. Oh, so you have to choose it before he says what it is. Yes, though? I cannot choose oh, it. After that's really says cool. It. Yes. Yeah, that's really fun. So that's not a good roll for the. For the shambling now. It's basically. almost as though it reconsiders. Yeah, exactly. no, it's not. I don't and, want to fuck with this. And in fact, it is like a millimeter away from your foot, and then there is a strange shimmer around certainty, and the tendril recoils. Oh, that's cool. We're cool. cool. in a different timeline now. That's right. Wow, she's rewriting. I love it. Okay, um, so now, I mean, not much to do except. Uh, you could try to get free. Get my foot. You could try oh, I will. to. I would try. Yeah. Listen, I I have been trying desperately for several turns, <laughs> simply to not worship this plant. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I'm hoping that I'm hoping I can get there someday. You successfully get the rope around his foot, uh, Jim. Mm. Uh, can I use this turn to kind of push him up onto the shore this time, or is it too heavy now? Because you still have the assistance of the water, so okay. yes, you could push it up onto shore. I would like to make sure that he's up and out of the goop. All right. Good thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks inside completely addled, like, oh. like, oh. like he's been battered around. Oh, yeah. He's, he's basically yeah. Been like in a dryer, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Shaken like a baby possessed. Yes. Yeah. Watch the neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, to move your mage hand, is yes. that an action or a bonus action? Uh, that's a great question. It's a conjuration, uh, one action. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so that's your turn. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainty. Yeah, this isn't, I don't like this. Um, I'm actually gonna turn around on Lily. I'm better at being mean than I am at being nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you see the quill and the book kind of come aflame. And uh, I am going to turn around at Lily and say, um, all right, enough of this bullshit. You get one taste of the pain, the next one will kill you. And I cast Burning Hands at level two. Oh, and, I, and I also add, let him the fuck go. <laughs> wow. Oh, but why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Lily fails. So that's the full damage here. So that's a six on the first d6. Nine. Uh, another oh. six. So that's what? We're at 15? Yeah. And a three. 18 points of fire damage. Jeez. That's rock solid, yeah. All She's right. showing up my damage. <laughs> Let's get it. Listen, you'll have an opportunity. The the flower shrieks in pain <laughs> as the fire uh, devours the surface of it. As soon as this happens, Omen, you're suddenly yourself again and <laughs> find yourself being digested by a plant. Uh, certainty, up close, as, as the surface area of this plant starts to burn away, you see underneath that those tendrils are all coming from six, looks like mind flayer heads <gasps> that are all fused together, their tentacles going upward and the very tips of them uh, what? illuminated what? like what this. The, this mm. under dark uh. shit. Uh. Mm -mm. Gross. Yeah, I did. I don't like that. I had yeah, an, I know it's a beholder, but maybe this is a different vision. Mm. You just see like certainty's not like that surprised because I've seen some really fucked up shit. Mm. Thanks to Perkins. Um, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'll share that information when I find a way to make it relevant. <laughs> just scream. <laughs> also, yeah. yeah, a lot of Instead, heads. Instead, I'm just like, cool, 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 cool. Love mind flares. Love mind flare shit. <laughs> Let me get more. <laughs> All right. And as you think that, uh, Jim, oh, uh, yes. the, the mind, uh, not the mind flare, the shambling mound right. uh, comes for you. Uh, so first, does a 19 hit you? A little bit. Traditional. <laughs> a little bit does, yeah. All right. You, as this, as this comes crashing down on you, okay. uh, oof, you take <laughs> nine bludgeoning damage. That's a lot. Uh, okay. And then it comes for you again. What? Wait, I want to uh, use my channel divinity to use my reaction. Um, I've got like one hand on this vine holding Omen up and I've got one hand on Bobby's sphere, like trying to keep him from rolling back in the water. And when I see that monster do that, I go, hey, that is root. No. <laughs> No! And I rebuke the violent so that it has to make a wisdom saving throw, and on a fail, it will take radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt. Ooh. Or half damage if it succeeds. Uh, it failed. It so got I, only a 10 on its saving right, throw. So we just ate nine radiant points. Yeah, and it kind of like sparkles and is like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I love this rebuke. So I no. fall down and just start to cry. I am <laughs> sobbing and like, <laughs> <laughs> like snot is coming out and I'm holding my arm where it hit me. I don't understand, man. <laughs> this guy hit me. Omen. Oh, you're in a plant. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta deal with this myself. Uh, and you talked to my boot. Yeah. And as your divine rebuke strikes it, uh, its tendrils uh, recoil. Omen, what do you do? Uh, I think that I'm, I have to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Uh, so that I can remain alive. Because uh, right now I have six hit points. And if it continues yeah. to chomp... Well, I mean, I guess I have, two, I have two paths here, right? If I get out, I guess it doesn't get to chomp anymore. Or I heal myself so that... It can keep chomping? So that it can continue to chomp. I want to make sure there's a lot there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to eat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. So from inside here, is it possible to hit it? <laughs> yes. I, just, I wasn't sure what the rules are because it seems like there was some some crushing going on. 
So you will you will have disadvantage on uh, any attack roll you make simply because of how constricted you are, uh, but you can still make attack rolls. Okay. And you can even see inside. Uh, now I know you already have dark vision, do you not? Uh, yeah. Uh, but there is also your your head oh, down. Oh, 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 there's a. There's a pathway through. There is actually illumination coming from deep inside it. Time to go toward the light. And it's that same amethyst light, light that you saw high up at the peak of this cavern. I don't know how much more of that I want. Mm. Well, I mean, it could be like a portal situation. You go in there and you just fall out there. I guess that's true. It's possible. Is that hole? Where does it, that hole is in the center of this? Yes. Right? Yep. Right up here. I think that I think that I would probably die from the fall damage too. That's probably. Yeah. Oh, I was just saying. There's a, there's a lot going on. <laughs> it would be cool to see. That's now, all I thought. I just, I, I just think you'd be awesome. <laughs> I just think it'd be yeah. rad. Yeah. Here now. So I can try to attack it a couple times from in here. Would if he were trying to escape, would he have advantage since I'm pulling up on his foot? Yes. Here we go. I love what I'm hearing. You know what? Mm -hmm. This sounds great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll try to get out. What does that look like? Uh, you can either use strength athletics to try to muscle your way out yeah. or dexterity acrobatics to sort of wiggle. To writhe. Yeah, out, no. out of there. <laughs> We're going to go with uh, insight on this one. Insight? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Well, well uh, we're going to try athletics. Although, nice. although. If you would like to instead try to get a read on the plant, <laughs> to really, I want to date you. Don't plant. understand? Uh, no, no. I, I, I'm going to go ahead. Plant is doing something. <laughs> it's, it's working. Um, no, uh, I'm going to go for the athletics plus two, and if I can, if I have, as a result of the yanking, um, if I can get advantage on that, then I can probably one of these is probably going to be okay, right? So let's give it a try. Probably. No, I have a good feeling. Watch this. Right? That one is a 10 plus 2, or 12. Uh, you have a d6. Oh, oh inspiration. Oh, inspo. Uh, 10 plus 2 plus 4, 16. Now, That's strong. We would love to have a higher number on it. I think 16 is pretty good. I don't hate it. Yeah. Uh, that's... Also the same number. <laughs> so this, you can have a 16 or a 16. Whichever you like. Hopefully that's enough to get out of this plant mouth. So uh, if it were not for your daughter inspiring you, yeah. you would not have gone <laughs> No, out. I would be fully consumed. Yes. <laughs> you just think about how embarrassed you'll be oh, yeah. if you're eating When I get out of here, person. yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, with... With Evelyn supporting you by pulling on the rope and you pushing your way out, you blorp out of it <laughs> mm. with this sort of viscous fluid dripping off of you. Mm. Ugh, mm. uh, and it too sizzles a little bit, mm. which you have recently oh, felt I, I, the I effects am, of. I have, yeah. Yes, I have some knowledge of it mm. um, on the digestion side. But, but you are now free and you are yourself. It feels good. Okay, well that was that was my turn. Uh, I'll figure out, I need to have a conversation with Jim real quick. I think this man has tricked all of us. I think he's <laughs> brought us here under false pretenses. <laughs> I need to talk to Jim, uh, and I'll, I'll do that on my next turn. I'm yelling that as I cry. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at, you're pointing at this, I think this is a real monster. <laughs> I think this is a real monster. <clears throat> Evelyn. Uh, Okay, Omen's out. Bobby's secure. Okay, you both just chill, and I'll go over um, and attack the monster from the other side, from the air, with my battle axe. Oh, you're just going to float out there. Yeah. yeah. So here, let's have Evelyn right there. Which, now there. that I say that, I know is dangerous with all the vines we've seen, but I'm just going to do it. This is vine too, yeah. I'm going to do it anyway, because Evelyn often doesn't think before she does things. Uh, hey. 14 plus 6 is 20. Dirty 20. A dirty 20 is. Dirty it? 20. And my Filthy damage 20. will be... <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 1 <laughs> plus 4 is 5. But I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to strike again. That's right. Unless he's dead. He's not dead. 16 plus 6. 
So I it's imagine that hit. hits again. Yeah. This time, I'm really tired of this. Um, although, no, I think I should save it. Gonna, I'm just going to do the normal do damage. Strike? I right. was, but I only have three spell slots now. I know. It's <laughs> it's This this low-level stuff is raw. Okay, that's a four. Four plus four is eight. More radiant damage. Nice, nice. I miss my improved Divine Smite. They were a good time. It, mm -hmm. It's... It's dank exterior sizzles from all of these strikes. And you can see that even though it's still alive, it is starting to sink a little bit into the boggy water. Go Mer home! Yeah, exactly. Go to your home! Yeah. Jim. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think this is a real monster now. I'm going to cast Jim's Magic <laughs> Missile. Um, I think that even this gym knows Jim's magic missile. <laughs> I think it's just every one of them does. So I get three uh, twisting, whistling, hypoallergenic, <laughs> gluten-free darts of magical force. <laughs> First one is an eight. Probably not. Second one, though, is a 19 plus five. That is a hit. Third one is an 18 plus five. Also Dang. a hit. Okay. Uh, so the ones that hit deal 2d4 force damage. Yowza. Yeah. That's a one. So three. And then the big numbers. Three and a two. Another five. All right. Uh, Surely that will destroy the beast. It. Your, <laughs> your gluten-free missiles hit yes. it. Yes. Uh, and drive it down further into the murk, but it is still alive. Certainty, what do you do? Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to try to heal Uncle Jim oh <laughs> and just say, you're doing amazing, sweetie. I know I this is it. tough, but use it. You're an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm channeling all of this, but yeah, I'm going to die, honestly, if I don't get a Band-Aid or something. Um, so you heal for six. Oh, thank God. That's healthy. I was at five health. And then... It was low. Uh, I can only do a cantrip on this turn, because I used that. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to hold my firebolt up to Lily and just be like, are you going to behave? Are you going to sit? <laughs> you going to sit and let my friends through the swamp? You, you now see that the exterior has been burned away and mm -hmm. you see those mind flayer heads, their tentacles all vibrate as the voice, actually it's coming from them, oh. and, and says, We'll be good, we promise. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. The, 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 you, you, the tentacles look like they're wiggling in supplication. Yeah. Right. Oh. Why do I feel like they're lying? Because of the, it's like if if, if one mind flayer is like bad and not trustworthy, yeah. like I think a pile of mind flayer heads is definitely yeah. You know, I thought further this along. was like a plant was using the mind flayers. Now I wonder if it's mind flayers <sighs> using a plant. I don't know. I, I don't firebolt. Know. <laughs> you know, if it's like a murder of crows, what of mind flayers is it? Oh, yeah, what is it, Jeremy? <laughs> Uh, that's, an, that's a three on the die plus a five. So that's an eight. A tangle of mind flayers. That's for good. Yeah. A conundrum of mind flayers. No, we love it. What's it called? Yeah. A, a rat king? Is this a mind flayer king? Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Uh, so sh this this die, I'm assuming that eight is not sufficient. Mostly. Not. I'm going to fix that uh, <laughs> using the war god's blessing. I know you've heard about it. Now experience it. <laughs> um, yes, this is called a divine, it's called a guided strike, and I'm just going to add 10 to it. Wow, 10. And now you hit. Oh, Sam, okay. So I, I, I'm basically pulling my, I'm still like tugging my way out, like my boot is like still in the, <laughs> in the plant, and then I see that this, I see that this didn't work, and I'm just like, no. And I'm not going to say that I did it. <laughs> it's that, I know it's weird, but it just, now things are going better. That's a 10. A 10 out of oh. a D10, so 10 fire damage. Jeez. Uh, the, the Mind Flayer heads screech oh. in pain, and that screech reaches a pitch that for a moment is identical 
to the buzzing sound <gasps> that you heard in your heads、mm. in the other cave. It's all connected. Okay, so this, this are these、Turtles、obelisks? All the way down.、Yeah. Are these obelisks? Illith? Are they like mind flayer obelisks? Yeah, I think it's some nautiloid shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some spelljammer shit. Some nautiloid shit.、Mm-hmm. I think you fucking lied to me about what this was gonna <clears throat> be. Okay, now <laughs> I say, look. Okay, so <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> If we're gonna have our thing, we should definitely have our thing. Yeah.、Uh, and then. They go silent,、oh. and all of those tendrils—they just fall over limp, and Lily is dead. Nice. Okay, that's good. I think. And、right. as, as this flower starts to then sort of wilt into itself,、oh. the three-pronged mouth over there then clamp shut、oh, next to you. It's all roots. It's all, it's all together.、Up. It's one. Hive mind. It's that. So how much of the how much the swamp is? Yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully that was running it. That was all the heads. It is now the the shambling mounds turn. Huh. And it immediately after that happens, it ducks its head underwater and dives <laughs> away. Would either of you like to make an opportunity attack on it as it dives back into the box? Yes, you. Ha- you should. Great、yeah. idea. I don't. I'm not going to catch no, the spell. No, if it's running away, it knows what it did. It's going to think about its <laughs> actions, and maybe come out a better mound. Yeah, I'm going to let this thing scoot away. I'm not attacking it. <laughs> this isn't what I signed up for. All right, it the mound. Descends <laughs> to think <laughs> to think about what it did. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have tried to eat those soft things. Why do I shamble so much? <laughs> exactly. Why、It's、can't like, I be you know, a gr- self-confident mound? <laughs> my great grandfather was a mound. My father was a mound.、Um, and so I'm like, I've been. This is a very complicated position for me to have been put in here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over. I see that that、um, Bobby is in this ball. And I'm gonna walk like sort of along the edge of the swamp, and I just push Bobby away. I'll go, I'll find him. <laughs> I just push him away. He rolls for a little while, and I come around the corner and I say, "Jim, listen. Everything that I said is completely true. Okay. This is what I need you to know. Just you have what it takes to be a star. I can see it in you." There are non-union. There's non-union workers on this set. Oh, dangerous! Tell me one thing. Do the other actors know? Know what? How dangerous the set is. They, they do, but they they have worked on they've worked on set with me before,、mm-hmm. and they know that things can get a little rough and tumble, especially when there are. You know, performers that don't、right. have the same rigorous controls, the same level of care and concern、mm-hmm. that、okay. we have. And I, I, I like the energy. I mean, I'm excited well, by it. Yeah, and, and, and this is and this is why I brought you out. Yeah, I think that I think that you're going to find, as time goes on, that it gets a little bit easier to sort of flow and get into that flow state. Do I need to be aware、character. of where the scrying is coming from? Because I want to have my good side. Absolutely, it, it's just like I say. Obviously, you guys already know this, so there's really no reason well, for me to、movie? tell you. You're making a movie. Oh no, it's getting.、Worse. I've always <laughs> wanted to be an act. How do I stand? Okay, well, I can show you some stuff. Oh please! Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, okay, I didn't know so, we were gonna make it. I didn't know we were making a movie. Yeah, yeah, we're. Was I okay? Yeah, we're making. Was I supposed to hit it? Yeah, no, I. That was in the script. Okay.、Yep. Yeah,、Good. that's everybody's on. Everybody's on model. I like it. It's a very much like a yes and set, and I like that. Everybody is just、yeah. continuing with everyone else's yeah, story. Yeah,、okay. yeah, and that's why I think it's best. Obviously, I, I, you know, when I look at a project like this, obviously I can't do it in here because the ceiling is so low. Right. But generally speaking, I like to I think of myself as a sort of thirty thousand foot producer. Sure. I'm looking down at the entire project. Now, certainty. Uh, obviously,、um, you know you're. Why are you saying this? I'm like going through mind flare, <laughs> disembodied head, <laughs> trying to figure、that. out how、yeah. this thing works. I'm like, yeah, yeah what? As I'm like disentangling these things. Well, 
Yeah, she, you know, she's it, she's working. She's busy. How does this uh, but work? what I'll say is that is that you what you understand is that you don't you don't have to worry about the specific angles anything like oh. that because I promise you that the the wisps. <laughs> I'm just gonna go sit at the base of this tree and just lie yeah. as hard as I can for about five minutes. Let me give you the let me give you the 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 top level. They're, these are union wisps, and I've got them on a contract. They are watching, and no people. And obviously, there's going to be residuals. Um, but what's happening is that people are scrying in. From all over the multiverse. There's more than one verse. I don't know. A lot of people. Yeah, not knew about that. There's a couple of them, honestly. So, so you weren't even in danger at all. It was just an act. Uh, well, I, I do a lot of my own stunts, and so <laughs> I'm definitely I'm putting myself on yeah. the line, absolutely. But there was a malfunction. Oh. And, and so if you had not pulled my you know pulled my leg out at that time, obviously it's a mechanical. Like I mean, it's closed up now, so you can't see it. But you can. It's obviously so I'm kind of like the stunt coordinator. There's too. no question, and I mean, obviously, stunt coordinator. It's like, does is there like a, a pay bump on that? Probably not. I would assume. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> probably not. But <laughs> does it deserve one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. You know, and that's the same. I, and so I still haven't gotten paid at all. Yeah, yeah. We do get producer credits though. Yeah, and that's the that's yes, money. That's like money when you in go the bank. to get another when Honestly. you go to get another job, you go yep. to get another thing. It's mm -hmm. like they see that producer credit and they're like, "We're working with a, a known quantity." Professional. I mean, if I'm getting credit, really, you should give credit to the Lathander. Well, I'll 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 put him. I'll talk to his people. I guess okay. you're his people. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure that I'll make sure that he's on the final scroll. Great. I'm gonna yeah. stick around, but only because I think you need my help. Honestly, On I don't production. think I don't think that you're wrong. And the truth is, you know, the next time you see something like that, next time you see a, a creature, don't hold back. Yeah, I saw something there that didn't look like close-up magic. If you get my meaning, I was hoping that he would sell it a little more after well, I hit him. And, and I and I think that he did. And obviously, you know, he's he's thinking about what he did down good. at the bottom of the swamp. Good. Um, but I mean, are we are we good? Yeah, we cool. I think we're good. I'm good to keep going. All right, perfect, perfect. Because we're coming up to the big finale, so excellent. I need you. I need your. I need your head on a swivel. And yeah. this is in no play, no pay situation. Right. Yes. Yeah. And we'll explain that. Later. I will pay for play. <laughs> perfect. Or play for pay. Well, I liked yeah. it better the first way. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll figure out exactly how yeah. much. Okay. Yeah, um, you're kind of a little bit more up and coming. I can see the name Jim Dark Magic. Putting butts and seats, but for right now that's it does not put the butts case, and seats. Yeah. You know? it, it well, there's no seats here. I mean, that's a, it, it's it, a ridiculous. It, it, yeah. it puts butt in seat. <laughs> if there were seats here right now, I guarantee 100% percent it'd be full. Well, you know, a lot of that does have to do, and I actually cast distort value like on myself, <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, you know, cer certainty is the Bruckheimer of Greyhawk. Uh, my special <laughs> effects are known. These pyrotechnics. Wow. They're top of the line. Wow. Yeah. And so people are coming here for big explosions. People aren't coming here for fringe and wafting hair yet. But my goal is for this relationship to be a symbiotic one. Yeah. My exactly. you know explosions what, just, just like framing this, your heroic cape and silhouette. Just like this hideous subterranean environment, we're looking for a symbiosis. Yeah. Jim doesn't know what symbiosis means, mm -hmm. <laughs> but he nods. Yeah. Same All right. <laughs> Perfect. We, we can symbiote. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you have been, yeah. frankly. Yeah. Honestly, I don't want to tell tales out of school, but I, I love what I'm seeing. Um, all right. You can you can do a little better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and and I will. I will in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably not today. Rolling uh, one of our actors into the pool. Is uh, a... I was going to say anything. earlier. You said you were a CEO, and I didn't buy it. Yeah. I just I didn't feel it. I didn't believe it from you. Yeah. So. No. But you, but you've seen it. You've seen this. I saw you got swallowed by a plant. Yeah. yeah. You, you saw a man utterly committed to his own artistic endeavor? Yeah, that's what you saw. <laughs> Death? So, suicide? That, yeah. That's what you were, That's your yeah. artistic endeavor? For the work? For the work? <laughs> yeah. No, I respect it. I'm going to walk around the tree, and I'm going to get my mitts on this big prismatic sphere. I'm loving the bit. Um, also, good luck uh, on Raw. Uh, <laughs> I hope you win all of the belts. Um, and so I'm going to wheel. I'm just going to get him scooched around the edge over here. Um, get him set up. Get him wedged into something. 
because he kind of fell off last time. Yeah. And I'm going to go over and help you on my hands and knees dig through the guts of this. Yeah, I'm pulling out mind flare heads while I've been having this entire conversation, <laughs> tossing them over my shoulders, trying to see if, like, this hive mind is still alive, if there's still purple light coming from the bottom, what was powering these things. That's an academic endeavor. It really is. Can I go check the hole in the ceiling and see what's up there? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, you you fly. Got, yeah, exactly. Go, go look in that hole. If I'm going to coordinate stunts, I have to know the, yeah. the set. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, location scout. Yeah. Location scout. So as you go location scouting, certainty, you find that there are no bodies under these heads. Oh. And that vines, not mind flare tentacles, but actual plant vines. Matter. Underneath have grown up into the mind flayer heads, each of which looks like it was severed from whatever okay. body it was a part of, and the tenderly vines that are going up into the head, almost like a new nervous system. Yes. You can see that the vine, viney roots have little flecks of obsidian all over them. Okay, like, so there's like another a dust. chunk here. Mm -hmm. There's a chunk here, and, mm -hmm. it's, and somehow it's extracting it from this from this environment. Do I think I could follow this root system? You... To a core where maybe there's an obsidian A rock, chunk? maybe? You... I mean, it. the roots are deep in the ground, mm -hmm. so I mean, do you want to try to like pull them up and out? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me a strength athletics check. Okay. Um... I'm not good at that, so... <laughs> I see myself struggling and then, and then see an, an alternate, alternate timeline time in which <laughs> you kick ass. I kick ass. And <clears throat> so I'm going to use my second portent die. So that's a 19. 19. Plus my athletics. So that's uh, 21. Yeah. So for a moment, it's sort of like, uh, uh, and then you see that, that other timeline. Mm -hmm. And then just for a moment, you're swole. Yeah. And, <laughs> Yoked. and you're cut. And you just tear the roots out of the ground uh, and they extend over in this direction. And so you managed to pull out to enough tugging them up mm -hmm. so that they're now up on the surface up to here, but you can tell that they continue in that direction. All right. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to kind of point these out. I mean, dad's on the same page. Yeah, absolutely. I knew first. I was waiting. Yeah. And you impressed me. Evelyn. Mm -hmm. As you fly upward toward this amethyst hole in the ceiling, you can see that it curves, that there is some kind of tunnel up above, and it is glistening. And as you come up, there are actually little drops of moisture that hit you, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh-oh. Six on the die, plus three for my con is nine. Ooh, that is not good enough. So that moisture gets on you, and it burns you for five acid damage. Jeez, oh. Even with the crystal form? Mm. Oh, yeah, I mean, crystal, <gasps> crystal form. form, you have advantage on that saving think throw. Think Wolfander. Think Mike. Or Rolick. think Mike. <laughs> I, I have got. I rolled. Worse. Well, Sander did not give you a great roll there. Oh. I rolled five. I should have thanked my Krahulik. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in mind. Well, and tried. you can see right as you feel the sting of this pain, that up in the curve, and it curves over that way. Oh, weird. You can see bones tangled up in vines. Uh, and then there is sort of this convulsion, and you realize that what you thought was a curve in the tunnel looks like it is fleshy, and it sort of convulses, and then there is a spurt of the muddy water and Ugh. bones and chunks of stuff comes bursting out, and you all see this. It's a gullet. It's, it's always a mouth. 
Uh, it's always a mouth. Oh, or a mouth. It's always a mouth, yeah. Uh, I need you to make Why a dexterity saving throw. Why did you say mouth? Why would you say butt? <laughs> a dexterity. Stuff comes out of a butt. <laughs> Stuff I mean, comes right. out of a mouth. Yeah, but most of the time it's coming out of butts. But Twelve plus one. Acid comes out of a mouth, not a butt. Thirteen. Have you ever eaten at Olive Garden? <laughs> <laughs> you take that fucking tour of Italy? <laughs> the tour of Chile? Yeah. Yeah, we know about it. It's a real experience. I haven't eaten there in 10 years because of one night. No, if you want to eat there, you bring a raft. You can ride home. I, I, I sat in I sat in the t- in the toilet and I had my yeah. mouth in the bathtub just both oh, ends. Here, no. I didn't have to keep eating the breadsticks. Like no. No. They, just because they were bottomless. Because they're bottomless doesn't mean you you have to yeah. You could stop anytime you want. But you don't. But you don't. And they know it. Yeah. I'm really glad, glad we got here today. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. 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 Okay, I be stand more. corrected. Yeah. You know what? I'm in his so, yeah. now. It's not a mouth, it's a sphincter. It's a I'm, okay, it's I'm, kind of. I'm in your I'm an in orifice. Your now. Yeah, it, it, it's me. absolutely. It's or if see, or it's an orifice. All right. That's classy. It's always an orifice. Right, that's a it's tasteful classy. way to handle yeah. it. Anyway, so it sounds like you got some on you. Uh, yeah, I, I rolled a twelve plus one for my deck save. That is just good enough. Oh, thank Christ! That you weave out of the way in the air, and the rest of you see just as evil and moves to the side. This gosh of ick. Comes so blasting down here. Oh, and look at this! But look at look look at the way they set this up. You guys set this up so that these drippings from up there are literally mm. forming these like stalagmites. Nasty things down here. Those yeah. stalagmites. Uh oh. No. Oh. Yeah. Poop. Poop mites. Poop. Oh yeah. no, it's guano. Yeah. And and it reeks. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's not good. <laughs> Evelyn, as you look down and you follow its course down to the ground looking, as it splashes and chunks land oh. product, uh, mm. you you notice this hole over Orifice. here. A lot of holes in this <laughs> adventure. And, <laughs> Is everybody and, picking up on this? And from up here. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I, say? <laughs> I've never done anything gross in a Dungeons and Dragons game before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank God, and thank God, and, and obviously we can maintain this proud tradition, yeah. except for maybe every episode. Yeah. Uh, so when you when you look down, Evelyn, there is actually a figure. What crouched in this opening, uh, sort of with the hood <laughs> over their head mm. as this. Hits, mm. uh, and th- but they're still moving and alive, and there's a cloak on them. Uh, it's like they're they're cloak? trying to get shelter over here uh, near this this hole. Uh, are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you up on them? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I think so. My name's Evelyn, what's yours? I often forget my name. Well, it's really gross over here. Do you want (laughs) to go over there instead? Yes, please. It smells horribly. Yeah, it does. Come on. I I would take your hand, but maybe we can wash it in the little pond first. Come on. I, I hear this conversation, and I'm like, I'm gonna start to more, sort of move over into this area, mm-hmm. just in case I have to fucking kill somebody. And, it might happen. And so, uh, Evelyn, the robed figure, uh, takes your hand, and they. Listen. No, I said I. I was like, well, you could wash it first. I did the. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Reaches out, um, turns, and you, you see that their uh, their cloak. Sort of has like a rain poncho hmm. uh, uh, texture to a it. Slicker. Uh, and as it gets up and pulls back the hood, you see standing in front of you is a mind flare. <gasps> the yeah, fuck? Uh, you just had a hoodie on? <sighs> Thank you for offering a hand and help. Oh, hell no. Mm mm. <sighs> Mm-mm. Yeah, you're not gonna flame my mind. Mm-mm. Not today. Mm-mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm-mm. My appearance. I am so sorry. Yeah, I it's forget gross. how unsettling it can be. And so, 
Uh, it turns away from you and then turns back toward you. And instead of a mind flare under the hood and cloak, you see a bespectacled, white bearded old oh. man. Oh, see. And hey. who says, So sorry about that appearance. Yes, mind flayers are very unsettling, are they not? So, uh, <laughs> I, I'm schooled in like illusions. That you was literally I, are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I tell if this is an illusion or if, if it's... Go ahead and give me an intelligence arcana check. And any of you observing this are welcome to do so. Ooh, is, okay. is a mind flayer an aberration? They are. Yes. Boo. Yeah, you're looking for your good and evil. I, I want got my, a 13. I got a 22. Ooh, that's higher than me. What are we rolling for? 19 plus... Intelligence Arcana check. Arcana plus zero. So 19 for me. It's it's not great. I'm just... Let's not go into it. So all three of you know for sure that, you know, some magic was just wielded, but a detail that Certainty and Evelyn notice that uh, Jim did not spot is rather than a sort of glamour appearing, which you would expect for yeah. an illusion, uh, it actually appears to have transformed. Oh. Actually oh. physically changed okay, to, so this, to look. So this thing is stuff. not, could yeah, be changeling stuff, or it's a much, much more powerful yeah. spell. Yeah. Okay, hmm. well let's okay. be cool. So, uh, just, I've j- I've had some experiences before with Mind Flayers. Um, tried to control me and my friends. I don't mean to judge, but just, um, I was wondering, are you a mind flayer? I am many things. Is one of them a mind flayer? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I feel like we should resolve that first. Mm. He strokes his beard for a moment and says, hmm, this is an existential question. <laughs> Am I the things that I am sometimes appearing to be? Whoa. I I like this guy. I believe that for moments, I am a mind flayer. I I, I nudge Jim with my elbow and I say, you're going to love this guy's arc. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it seems like right now, maybe you aren't a mind flayer. Hmm. Yeah, certainty is eating this up too. She's just it's, like, it's good stuff, honestly. When we code switch to fit our surroundings, that sometimes isn't a fake version of us. Sometimes that's a facet of us that becomes a part of us, mm-hmm. and really, mm-hmm. that's valid. Yeah, you know? yeah. And if the mind flare is the one putting yourself under, you know, what's coming out of an orifice, maybe that's not the best side of you to be living in. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you were doing it to survive. Mm-hmm. You truly see me. I do. I have to wear a lot of different masks to survive, bro. You and me, we're like the same yeah. thing. Except I don't look like that. And I wouldn't. <laughs> and he, this old man for a moment looking at you, you actually see a single tear start to stream down his wrinkly face. How long has this thing been down here? How long has he been? I mean, you've been here a long time. I have been here and many other places for a very long time. I think this is actually like Are a you... super whacked out, powerful wizard guy. Well, and and there's all these roots and they're connected to all these places. And you said you've been here in other places. Are you, are you connected to all Ooh. of this? Ah, oh, the roots. I was digging in this hole trying to find some of them. Me too. Actually, yes, we were we all doing this. We are alike. Yeah. We are alike. And mind flayers are a part of these roots. And so I became like them. Mm. It was helping me find, to find where the impossibility is. For you see, I am a collector of impossibilities. Oh, this guy do you kicks know someone ass. named Vi? <laughs> Vi? Yeah. Is Vi a gnome? Yeah. 
I cut this picture out of a frame. Did I cut it yeah. out of the frame? Yeah, I think I, so. Yeah, I think I cut the fan art out of the frame because her boobs looked you, amazing. Yeah, she was, yeah, they were looking right. This guy, yeah. and I pull out a painting I cut out of a frame very rudely. She yelled at me. She yeah. chastised me she when I did it. A Vi from back in the manor. He squints at it in confusion and then says, one moment. And he turns away from you. There is sort of a shake. And he shrinks, turns back around, and now he is a rosy-cheeked halfling and says, of course I know Vi. Mm. She's the best. Wait, so who does that make you? Some of us can't remember our name, so I'm the rememberer. We're the right. archivist, but I like to call us Archie. The, everyone else hates it, mm -hmm. but I think it's fun. <laughs> Archie, this guy I like fucking it. kicks yeah. ass. Um, yeah. Here, so so while they're all while they're doing that, I'm going to cast several instances of cure light wounds on myself <laughs> because I don't know what's going to happen next. But I know for a fact that we cannot fight this thing. No, 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 no. I think like, this is. Our I mean, friend. no matter what, he's no. definitely like on our team. But yeah. I'm saying we cannot. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Handle this. Absolutely at not. All. Archie, since <laughs> you're the rememberer, he did when we are called that. <laughs> I know. But it's really fun. It's cute. It's adorable. I live. Who else is in there? Does well, one of them start with an E? E. Or an M? Yeah, does one of them start with an M? Who are you thinking of? Is Morden Kanan in there, by chance? Oh no, we have met Morden Kanan. You have met Morden Kanan? Yes. Where? S he is sometimes an associate of Vice. Right, right. I was hoping maybe he could help us get back home. Our he, wizard isn't, um, and then like catching herself. Isn't. Isn't done giving the performance of his life. Thank you. Yes, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the middle of something. Are, are you a performer? I am something of a performer. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have oh. seen my show in Greyhawk. Uh, I do love a show. Well, you'd love this one, yeah. And sometimes impossibilities even happen in entertainment. It's true. Yeah, my whole career is an impossibility. Mm -hmm. I'll have to watch more of them. Oh, but I'm so sorry. Yes. Uh, he, How can we help? Uh, 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 he would like uh, to return. And right. <laughs> that, that the, the halfling turns around, the form grows back, turns back around, and it is the old man again. You can um, you can shape shift in front of us. Like you don't have to turn around. I we, wouldn't mind seeing. Yeah, that. we know that it's happening because when yeah. you turn around, you look different. You look different when you turn yeah. back yeah. around. But if you just wanted to stay looking at us, that'd yeah, be okay. it's okay. It's it's a, mm -hmm. and it's not shameful. Oh, that is very that is very kind of you. It's okay. It. We all do it. We're just not as good as you are. Mm -hmm. Ah. Try it. There is such kindness Love to in see your it. souls. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it to protect you. Oh, maybe it looks uh, yucky. Yeah, oh, probably yeah. Probably would discombobulate. Oh, the brain's God. oh little. yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe it actually looks. Maybe I don't want to see the inside of his yeah, jaw. Yeah, I saw an ugly baby once. Oof, yeah. Threw up immediately. <laughs> so I'm not good at like. Gross stuff at all. You see a baby. It's like, you see some babies, and the baby, the people are always like, "Oh, my baby's so cute." I think babies look like little old men. Yeah. Okay, and so why are you here? <laughs> Misshapen heads. Trying to find these roots. Well, why? I am always drawn whenever there is a rupture of impossibility in a place. <gasps> what if I? I think our paths align here, sir, because you see. I'm not from here. I don't go to school here. <laughs> I'm from somewhere totally else. And then 
I blew up the company I was supposed to inherit and I hugged something and I came here. Yeah. And in that reality, my uncle is like the greatest magic user of all time and he could fix this. But in this reality, anyways, if you are a powerful wizard that can help us put this obelisk together, that would be great. You just use the O word. I am afraid I am not a powerful wizard. Sure, because you're kind of giving wizard vibes with the the, the big beard wizard and vibes. The, yeah. yeah, it's giving I, wizard. I <laughs> am, I am a humble archivist, oh, okay. and I travel and gather impossibilities. Oh. And a rupture happened near here, and perhaps you are a part of it, but it is also part of the obelisk. Something has ruptured reality in this mine. And whenever that happens, whenever the beyond intrudes, impossibility oh. becomes possible. It's ever okay. Now and I, I get it. and I gather it and place it. And he opens his robe just a just this much. A crack. Just a crack. And f when you look inside you see just for a split second before he closes it you see a sea of stars oh. like actual space inside his room oh. we need to stay on his good side no ab listen that's what's going that's what's going to happen space. and it i, I us in his space cloak cloak absolutely yeah, yeah exactly I, I my uncle had a space like that and he made me go in it don't do it um so <laughs> <laughs> so, so listen. I think that we. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I got out as soon as I could. Yeah. Um, but, but uh, what? Okay. I think that we are on the same journey now. So, do we have our other obelisk chunk, or did it shriek and then disappear when we got teleported? You still have it. I was just gonna say, would you like to take a look at this? And I, I just, I flex it on him. Uh, he takes a step backward. I say, oh, are these bad? They are very dangerous. Should I not touch it with my bare hands? Now that you already have, there's no sense <sighs> in putting it away. Oh, is this like a Chernobyl situation? Yeah, I think I'm starting to taste the metal. Oh, no. Um, oh, so no. I say, well, I, I won't touch the next one. Maybe that'll... <laughs> Maybe that'll be good. Once it gets yeah. on you, it's too mm. late. Yeah. yeah. All of you have been exposed. Whoa! Oh, oh, yeah, I, didn't I didn't touch it. Touch it. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. No. didn't touch it though. You're they this, touched it. You are standing this close to it. Now I was like six feet away the Me whole time. Me too. So aren't we supposed to collect all the pieces and put them back together? Yeah, exactly. And this is what I, this is this is what I'm going to indicate to our archivist friend. I'm going to say, I think that we are in the same line of work. We understand that these are connected to something terrible. And we are here to capture, obtain, and then sequester these things. Is that what you're here to do? Not exactly. I am here to gather up the moats of impossibility. Oh, it's just this, it's just the effect. The exhaust of these things is all he wants. I say, well, I say, well, you're welcome to gather up as much impossibility as you want. Why don't you help us find it? The vines are leading me toward exact. that. And he he looks with his spectacles toward the this. huge crystal on the dais. I say, oh, you know what? I didn't even look. I, is that important? <laughs> is that I didn't even. With the skulls what on it? Yeah. yeah. There's, some skulls There's a on huge it. spire over yeah, there. Yeah, I pointed yeah. to it a couple times, but nobody was yeah, listening. I, yeah, I... There was a bunch of stuff going on. I had a contract dispute. Yeah, you're busy. Yeah. Mm. I say, yeah, I had not even... Really, that thing's magical. All right. Well... There was also some stuff coming out of the yeah. orifice. Yeah, and it was but, gross. Yeah. I say, well, let's just go get it. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. fly over. I want to look at these skulls, too. What's going on here? Be careful. I sense several impossibilities nearby. Other than us? Now that you mention it, there is a whiff of impossibility. 
about the three of you. And here he looks at you, Certainty, you, Omen, and you, Evelyn, but not you. Well, yeah, Jesus. I'm from here. I'm like 15 minutes away. <laughs> Seriously, in uh, in good traffic, I could be here in 10. So it's local. Yeah. <laughs> if if I lived in this crypt, I'd already be home. Yeah. At, as they're like inspecting this, which I think I have an idea about those skulls, I'm gonna like lean over to the archivist, kind of clandestinely. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, be like, sometimes um, I can kind of see flashes of the future, and um, I'm gonna like try to sketch uh, what uh, the Some wonderful Mr. Perkins yeah. yeah showed me, and one was a <clears throat> a red skinned devil. I'm gonna sketch very hastily in my in my spell book on one of the back pages and show it to the archivist and say, "Do you know?" Who this might be in any of your many multiversal travels? One moment. He turns around. Uh, there is a shake. He grows a little taller mm -hmm. and turns around and is now this regal looking tiefling woman. Who? Yes, I know who that is. Oh, it's, oh wow. Oh, <laughs> is um, who, who, who? That is the Lord of the Nine. Holy shit! For there are nine layers: three, then three, then two, oh, and then, then one. one. Oh. And it is on the single one where he rules. The depths of evil. And this is uh, this is in my future. Okay, cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool, cool. So more, we didn't more we devils didn't hear that because you were trying to keep it like yeah. on the down low. Yeah, I was trying not to freak out Jim Dark Magique. <laughs> Thank you. It might break his brain. <laughs> well, it might break character. Like, yeah, we can't have that. Uh -uh. Yeah. Um, People are paying good copper for this. Okay, and okay, and I saw that in my future because I was hoping it wasn't. Start, starts with an A, ends with an E. Yes. That is the one. Oh, that's him. And a lot of the realities you've witnessed, has that somebody divining that ever been like a good thing? Or have they ever like not end up strung and disemboweled from one of the circles of hell? Hmm. How many had a great vision? There have been a few times when a vision of that has led great heroes in mighty battles against him, but they lose. Mm. Mm. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. Um, well, uh, th th thank you, I appreciate you. It's not, you're just the messenger, you know, so I'm not, there's no ill will. <sighs> between, uh, between us, um, well, can <laughs> well, I just start like sweating uncomfortably? No, 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 but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sort of like sidle over. Oh. I'm going to put my put my arm around certainty, you know, bring her in close. Let's see. You all right? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Everything's cool. That's what you say when things aren't cool. cool. I just got. You to say meet. a lot of times. This is what I've noticed. And again, you'll you'll forgive an old man his foibles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of times when something is not cool. Yeah. You will say the word cool several times. I've noticed it. No. This is this is an artifact of your entire benighted generation. But I have. But you definitely do that, and it makes me think that mm -hmm. things aren't cool. Certainly. Mm. I I saw something. Earlier today. What? Well, I saw it. It's, it just doesn't make sense. And I don't see what it has to do with our situation. Uh, well, that sounds like a portent, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. our that's the family business, kid. Yeah. And I what I, you got? I, I, I saw um Him? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Who? 
um, Asmodeus. Yeah. You thinking about a, a career change? A career? No, I mean, like, I saw him in, like, a, in, like, a, in, like, a, he's probably going to kill it. What do you mean career? You what do you mean career change? You don't want any part of it. What do you? That's all I'm saying. You do don't you, want do any you part want of it. Any... You don't want any part of it. Is this your fault? Which thing? The, the, me seeing him, like, and probably him skinning and playing us and killing us. Is we, this something you did? I think that you need to get motivated. And I think you need to get your eyes on the prize. Do you see that crystal spire over there? We're gonna talk about this later. We're gonna do the crystal spire thing. We might. We're gonna talk about this later. Or something else might happen. We might have to deal with that. I'm, I think you've, I think in your web of lies, you've drawn us in too. And I, I, I think the part that upsets me is I thought all of this was our fault, but between the chanting of these creatures and stuff, I'm starting to think like it was like your fault. And I've like inherited your student loans to a demon lord. <laughs> and at this point, Jim is also there and he's like, where do you think you get off? Yeah, get him. <laughs> Get I him. can't believe it. The sins of the father. Disgusting. Get him. I don't know what's what up. I just, I just want to be a part of this What do you think scene. I did? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just, I liked everything that was happening over here. Yeah. It felt really intense. Really so dramatic. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like it is a. You gave it out, and then I took it, and then I put it. Yeah. Yeah. As usual, when people are having a conversation <laughs> like this, Evelyn is over here already studying this. Wow! Look at that. Eve Evelyn, as you draw close to those three skulls uh from far away they're just like skulls but as you get closer, <laughs> skulls, exclamation point yes. yeah and as you get closer you realize that they might be human shaped but they are not human skulls that oh. in fact they are mind flayer skulls nice. and as you as you get closer there is an amethyst light that illuminates inside their eye sockets and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. Oh shit. Damn. 18 plus three. So I'll do it. God damn. Wow. The, don't say anything <coughs> about it because it'll turn. <laughs> uh, the rest of you see around Evelyn, there is this, these waves of amethyst light coming off of those three skulls. And you hear these three voices speaking in unison in your mind going away, 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 away. Go, go to go the, the park and drown, drown yourself. Oh and, God, Dad. And, I'm glad you, I, I'm glad. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> oh God. Well, anyway, it's good you rolled a, a 21 because that sounds bad. And, yeah. And, no. and you for a second, actually consider it but then you realize it's magic <gasps> and you and you are able to grit your teeth and ignore uh, their attempt to compel you I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash them three 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 two one hit the I think it's a code hit the third skull twice the second one and then the first one okay <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. This like skull do, do, bongos. Do, 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 do. Yeah, three, three, two. One. I don't know some Zelda <laughs> shit, but it might work. You never know. You never know. You never know. We're gonna be open it. up it here do, 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 in, do, do, in do, do, three do, do, minutes. Do. We're gonna be open yeah. the chest. Yeah. Usually I can smash it in one hit though, but I mean that. I th think uh, the frog told me three, three, two, one. So and well, then but the archivist told me three, three, two, one. So I think it might be like a password, but just I don't a know. code doesn't have any other meaning that's connected There's, to any other evil thing no, or anything. No. Oh, okay. No just, other just a weird code that we learned, I just, guess. Just a weird, just a weird code. Does it look like there's any? Li <laughs> I just like stare. Buttons? Is there like a, is there like a keypad? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Key yeah. Does it look like bones? I'm supposed to I interact with this, or does it look just like a decorative guarding type thing? Yeah. So the the three <clears throat> skulls look like they were placed here very intentionally, and there is carving around each one, and it does look like each one is in a bit of a stone recess. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. One, two, three. 
right? I think so, yeah. I think I'm the, gonna push I think three. your right hand. Yeah, so yeah. three, three, two, one. And then if it comes back out. Uh, you, <clears throat> it does actually push in and there is like a satisfying click and then it comes back out. Ooh, so dear, okay, <laughs> and then I push it again. This time it slides in and stays. That school was worth it. I'm telling yeah. you. Two. Every gold piece. One. Following the correct sequence that the frog told certainty, <laughs> all three skulls snap into place. There is a shimmer again of that amethyst light and a large chunk of the <gasps> obelisk oh, appears nice. right here. We're loving this chunk. We love a chunk like well, this. Were, were we not supposed to touch the chunks now? I mean, oh, yeah. here, I, I say, I'll, people who haven't, new rule. If you haven't touched a chunk, don't touch a chunk in the future. If you have touched a chunk, Keep touching chunks. You're a chunk toucher now. Yeah. yeah. Now you're a chunk toucher, and that's what's up. Designated. <laughs> Archivist, does that sound right? He said it didn't matter if you touch a chunk or not. Everybody. Yeah, well, he didn't say it didn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, and it's, it's still the regal team. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, did he tell you that you would only be hurt if you touched it? Well, I mean, we could kind of hope that. Yeah. There, were some of, there were a few no. of us that were well, thinking about In fact, he told us the opposite of that. We just didn't like to hear it. Yeah, so I just, I'm, I'm, I have, I'm making a new story, you know? He has a very warm heart, and he will often undersell the danger. Everything for a several mile radius has oh. already been corrupted by the pieces of this, these obelisks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and that, and honestly, that tracks. Would you suggest any particular method of handling and collecting these? Quickly. Okay. Oh. You are all corrupted already. You know. But the more quickly you can assemble the obelisk, oh, its corruption will then leach out of the surrounding area into it. Oh. The, problem, the problem is there is the breakage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a like containment for it. The obelisk is uh, weirdly, the obelisk is the best configuration yeah. for the chunks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this glowing crystal thing, was that just part of the decor or was it? I'm going to fly over and look at that. Is there anything else? Is there a sick beat coming out of yeah. it? Yeah, I was like, going to say. It's like a rave over here. Tables. Mm -hmm. That, no, that is a cluster of impossibility. Oh, oh this is his so thing. We should leave that to and, you. And as soon as you get close to it, Evelyn, you are suddenly standing uh, atop a golden spire that is erected on a cloud. And you can see, wow, like a hundred miles beneath you is an ocean and there are, there are golden spires on clouds all around you. And across from you, on the largest of the spires, you see gleaming with golden light Lathander himself. <gasps> wow. And as you see this, there is a sudden boom of thunder and a red bolt of lightning arcs across the sky straight through him <gasps> and all light winks out <laughs> of existence. Oh, no. And I'm just in darkness? Yes. Uh, the rest of you see Evelyn faint. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was holding my body like this the whole time. <laughs> so no, it's a horrible no, story. Um, you are now unconscious. Uh, this is why you should have fed us lunch. I exactly. told you, if we're going to be here this long, yeah. we have to give yeah. craft services. Yeah. And, no, that's true. And <laughs> she's, now she's out. Now she's at cold. Turning back around now with the long beard, the archivist says, she has seen an impossibility. Quickly, you must revive her yeah. before she is lost in it. Does anyone have any chocolate? Oh, shit. Uh, chocolate? Chocolate. I don't think I have any chocolate. I think I might have a little bit left. Boy, that would be great. Um, but <laughs> chocolate honestly, yeah. is one of the best ways to ground someone 
after they have been scrambled by impossibility. Oh. Uh, if you have any chocolate, I'll take it. Yeah. He, he hands you. Uh, it looks like a like an almond, like it's like an almond chocolate covered. covered okay. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Uh, I'm like, oh, I love it. Oh, wait, no. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I, I run over and uh, push the <laughs> push the so <laughs> Yeah, but I'm trying not to like touch her with my finger. Like I don't want to get anything, mm-hmm. so I just push it in there. Yeah, just put it on there and then just yeah, yeah. and then just okay. Now we're good. Cheeks. Yeah. Chin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jaw. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now we're good. So, so some really good dark chocolate mm. is in your mouth, mm. and you it actually sort of calls you back to consciousness. Uh, even like you can see that there are like tears pooled here, but she'll like. Mm. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Thank you. What? I but think it was just a sugar are. thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's crying. Jesus Christ! It's okay, Evelyn. It's um, they're there. Uh, no, but it's, it's like the hover hand version of comfort. It's like yeah, they're there. Evelyn I like mean, leans in to try to get. <laughs> oh no, it's too far arch- away. The archivist said that it's an impossibility. So whatever horrible thing you saw, it's like impossible. It, it can't happen. It ever can't happen. happen. So you're, it's fine. It's just like a bad dream. Let's get away from the giant rock. Leave it to the experts. Yeah, exactly. And this is rocks. Nothing, that's him. Nothing could ever douse the light of Lathander. Exactly. exactly. That's so true. And that's, that's an what makes it impossible. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it can't happen. Yeah, and and I, I look over at the archivist and I'm like, get this rock. Yes. It is critical that I get it. Mm-hmm. For you see, the impossible is indeed impossible. Right. That's what we're saying. Right. This is what just we were saying. We so we you're fine. In Everything's actually fine. Yeah. And so, well, oh, no. Except. Yeah. Okay. Except. There is a place in the multiverse that is beyond the great wheel. It is so far away that it is known as the far realm. And when the far realm connects with the rest of the multiverse, impossibilities are spawned. And it is when those connections occur near far realm incursions, the impossible becomes possible. And that is why I collect them, so that others cannot allow whatever is impossible to become real. So, mm. so you won't let that happen to Lithander? As long as I live, and the impossibilities remain within. And here again, it opens just a little bit, and yeah. you see the starship. Yeah. Then the multiverse will remain intact. Are you guys hiring? Just, we'll talk late. I'll leave you my card. I would love to see you suck up this impossible. How, how it works. Because this is like such a, such a cool job. Yeah. And you guys are like, really cool. It's legit. Really cool. It's legit. Yeah. The, the archivist moves over toward that stone where you are. Over here. Turns away from you all, uh, transforms then into the halfling mm-hmm. with with his rosy cheeks. Mm. Hello again. <laughs> Hi, Archie. And <laughs> and he he nimbly scrambles up one of these vines, uh, and we have uh, real animation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and he says, uh, for this part, I recommend looking away. Yeah, I, I I'm look, not gonna look away. I look away. I know that this is the stuff that <clears throat> cracks, makes you go insane. I, I have no I desire to see more of that. I yeah. learned about this in school. You need eye pro. We don't have any of the protective equipment. No, no. I'm, I'm looking not gonna, away. I'm not gonna look away. In fact, I'm gonna let the stone in my mall see it as well. Uh, I close my eyes. You close your eyes? Yeah. Uh, then, Omen, what you see is the archivist pull back the hood and drop the cloak 
And for a moment, it is like you are looking into a tear in space and it opens up and there is this sudden rush of wind that the rest of you can hear. From another place. And you can hear beautiful singing. You can hear screams of terror. You can hear birds singing. It is this cacophony Hmm. of things. And then also giant tentacles, Omen, reach out, uh, grab this entire obelisk and pull it into the space. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as you observe this. Uh, And it is gone. 20. Whoa. Let's see. Wisdom saving throw. This is a 21. Uh, You, because you succeeded on the saving throw, uh, oh my god, it's good that you did. Uh, Rather than taking 16 psychic damage, you take 8 psychic damage. Wow. And then the howling and everything else stops as the archivist pulls uh, the robe back up, and then the wind just immediately stops. <clears throat> so I, I open my eyes and I'm like, so does he like, uh, does he just like have like a little hammer or something? What does he do? Yeah. Okay. He has a little flute. He goes, oh, That's our Foley artist. Wow. Uh, yeah. His job is to do all of our sounds. And Omen, let's see, you're, Evelyn, did you pick up uh, the obelisk shard? Uh, I think oh. probably now. I mean, pro- probably now she's got it. Uh, we were just checking before, like, is it important who touched it before? Yeah. And we're like the touchers. I'll pick it up. So, Evelyn, as you pick it up, there is that same sort of distortion of space that occurred when you all retrieved the obelisk piece before. And you begin to vanish from this place. And as you do, Omen, you alone hear a voice in your mind after you pointed the ruby toward what you just observed. And the voice says to you, This, This Omen, Omen, is why why you are are here. here. Oh no. Jeez. There There is is an an impossibility impossibility in in this this place. place. You You must must find find it. it. If If it it were were to get get loose, everything I stand for, everything I built, would be undone. And it is into into your hands I give the quest of finding it and destroying it. 